All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. And I've been going through a series of form validation videos. I'm up to number five. I am validating with JavaScript, and I'm immediately going to go and do my address and city because those should go fairly quickly. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my last name that I've done right here. And I'm going to just paste it in twice. So this last name that we did here, this will now become validate city. And this will become a C in here for city. So Otherwise, city required. Or was this address first? I'm sorry. I think it was address, wasn't it? So I'll go on. So, you know what? I'm going to try to make my life easier on myself. So I'm going to grab all of this. And I'm going to pop it in right here. All right, so this will now be address A and that'll be no address provided so this will give me an address error this changes from 50 to 75 And we did not, I mean, this can have numbers and spaces. I don't think for the city, all I, all I did check on here was this. You know, uh, basically for the address in the city, I said if it's not valid. Otherwise, I just said that it was valid. So I did that. Because, again, it's very hard to validate for an address. Otherwise, so this would be address, and there's nothing in there, and I want to add A. So simply, if the address was empty, we came in and said address required. Otherwise, and we said is valid to false. Otherwise, some input was provided, so we assumed that it was valid. All right. Now I'm going to grab all of this code inside of here and I'm going to pop it in here. So this is validate city, so this will be C. So that's no city provided. This will be city is required. So that's it. So this will be city. Well, this is city here, so that will be city error. And that will be city right here. All right, so I'm making, again, some progress. Let's jump back here, and let's run this. All right. Now, we're still getting our first name, our last name, etc., but we're not getting our two things for city and address and city. So let's see if we can find out why that is the case. I am calling validate address with the address, validate city with the city. Validate address with the address, validate city with the city. E.trim is nothing. Set the address error. Okay. Otherwise, address error is nothing. That looks correct to me. This should say address. And... That may be what the problem was. That's got to be city. So this should say city as well. And let's F12 that. Trim is not a function. All right, so 138.
even though I just used it right here and it was not an error. Now it doesn't like it here. Still not giving me those. And now for whatever reason, when I hit F12, there we go, A dot trim is not a function. So I've got 138, 35, and 206. 138 which is the line I just changed, 35, which was here, and 206. Hmm. Not sure what the problem is. Now the good news is I've done two more of these and if you look I'm not going to go back over the ones I've already done but this is validating the address and it's saying if I try to trim it and there's nothing there give me an address error that says address required and set my valid flag to false otherwise set my address error to nothing and add this address onto the string A A a. So that should be correct. City is virtually the same thing, but it's C, C, C. Validate the city, which I pass in. Again, if it's empty, give me the error that says city required. Set my valid flag to false. Otherwise, some input was provided, so it's okay. City error, error rather is set to nothing, and I add it to my string. Not sure right now why I'm getting an error on that. I will have to check that and do the best I can to try to fix it. All right. I'd like to do the state and the zip and if time maybe even the cell phone All right, before I put this particular one here to rest. So let's go to validate state. All right. Again, just to try to keep matters, I don't know if this is simpler or not, but I'm going to grab my validate city, copy that into here, and this will become validate state, and that'll be an S. Now, this is going to be a little bit different a function, so even though I could use some of this, I'm getting rid of it. I am now on the bottom of page 4 of 10. So the first thing I want to try to do is validate this. So if either s equal equal, ooh, hello, if s s equal equal, what do I know? If it's equal to, please select your city. I know I have not yet picked out a city. Now, what should never happen, but just in case, I'm going to put an or in here, or s dot trim. In fact, I shouldn't even need a trim. I'm just going to say, if it's equal to nothing, that should never possibly, even possibly happen. But if that's the case, my state error dot first child dot node value. I'm going to set that equal to state name required. Otherwise, so we can put in a thing here that'll just say 
no state chosen. All right. Otherwise, in fact, let's take that error. And we'll put it down here. And we'll just say state was state chosen. All right, so if that's the case, basically, um, I just want to grab all this stuff. So I want to set state error to nothing and I want to append the state onto this string that I'm building all right now not having the best of luck right now as you've seen but I am going to come in and I'm just going to keep running it and I'll have to fix whatever's wrong in here So I'm getting those first three, but this, this should now be giving me an error. This should be giving me an error, and so should this. All right, let's just keep moving on. All right, so I'm going to grab this. And the next one, after state, will be zip. And I think I made that a Z. Now, validating the zip should be very similar to when I validated the social security number. So I'm going to grab that whole thing, copy it. Paste that in. Now, so if I... Trim it, and there's nothing there. Then no zip was provided. So I've got to say here, my zip error will now say zip code required. Otherwise, and this will be my pattern, so it'll be either 5 or it will be, whoops, 5. Let's just fix this. Or it will be... Five followed by four. Dollar sign. All right. So that's going to be my pattern. If the pattern was not matched. It's in the wrong format, so this will be a zip error. Otherwise, it was valid, so the zip error will be set to nothing. <clears throat> I think I'm going to, well, could we do... We are at 15 minutes, which is a little early for this one, but let's quickly go over what we've done in this particular one. We ended last time with the last name, I believe. So there was the address. 
If it was empty, we said address required. Otherwise, we did no further validation on it. A there, 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 that's good. Then we did the same exact thing with city. Again, it, once we trimmed it, if there was nothing there, we said city error. The city was required. Otherwise, it was all okay. Then we went to state. Now remember, this is the first time we're handling something a little bit different here because this is the drop-down list. So, and it shouldn't say please select your city. It should say please select your state. And was that exactly what we put there? Please select your state. Was that what we put in here? It looks like it, but to be sure, I'm going to grab that and I'm going to put it right there. It looks like it was the same. So if either it still says please select your state or, and I don't know how that could happen, there's nothing in there at all, the state error will now say state name required. Otherwise, you picked out a state. So we're setting the error to nothing, and we're adding the state to what we're working with. All right, and then the zip code, where we first trim it. And if it's empty, we say the error message says zip code required, and we set our Boolean flag. Otherwise, we come in here and we set our... Uh, regular expression pattern to five digits or five digits hyphen four digits. If we didn't match that pattern, we set our error message to it must be in this format, set our valid flag to false, otherwise it was valid. So as of right now, we have now done address, city, state, and zip. And I had those commented out. Could that be why, when we tried running this before, we had some of these errors come up? I don't know. Wow. Now we're not getting any of our errors. So F12 that cannot read property of null in our validate line 23 and 250. 23... That's the wrong one. 23, which is state. I thought I that was the way I picked it out before. Looking at my own notes here. I don't see anything that looks wrong with that. All right, and so it was lines... 23 and 250, which is in this validate. So, in our validate, we are calling. Oh, we didn't call validate zip. Okay, let's try it one last time. That is now done. Run, run. Not getting the error messages. So I will have to check on that. And when I come back, I should have time, hopefully, to do one more of these today. All right, so what's left? Well, if we look at our JavaScript here, that's quite a bit. All right, I think what I'm going to come up to is right here. And I will only get that far. I'm sorry I didn't get any further than that. All right, but I will do the cell phone. And you know what? I may be able to do those and also these, which would mean the only thing that I'd have left to do would be these three here. All right. Now, 
it's 7.30. My students are going to be coming in in 15 minutes. So I'm going to quickly do the cell phone and the email if I can. All right, which will mean I've got one, two, three, four, five to go. All right. I will do those during my lunch hour today. Those of you who are looking at this for some help, hey, I'm doing the best I can as fast as I can. I hope you're finding this helpful. And what I will do, what I will do in my class today, I've got some other stuff I've got to do first, but after that I will come back and try to figure out any errors that I have in here and I will try to fix them. All right, so right now I'm going to come in and try to, in the next 15 minutes, just see if I can get these two done. The cell phone and the email. I don't think I'm going to have time to do the password and the confirm. All right, but I'll try to do these at least. So there's the call to cell phone. There's the call to email. There will be the call to cell phone. I don't have an email in here, do I? So I would have one, two, three, four, five more of these to go. Okay. So let's quickly come in here and at least start doing our pattern for cell phone and email. All right, so that is the end of this tape.